Welcome to this presentation of the Caldera RIP Solutions. Our RIP Solutions offer a very graphical and intuitive user interface. The software is split into two main windows, an application window with a set of tools and devices and an image window containing multiple tabs to facilitate organization. To import a file, you will need to go to the tab you want to load them in. Drop the file browser to the desktop, select the files you want to import, and click open. The file will then be ripped at the lower resolution for preview and imported inside the software. This operation is multitasking. You can close the file manager and the file will continue being imported in the background. If you want to print a file, you will need to drop it to the printer, select your resolution, roll size, material, color mode, and action to be performed. Then click on the print button and the file will be processed or printed. You are able to check the status of the ripping or printing in the spooler. As you can see here, you see the progress of the file. Files can also be imported into the Caldera software using a hot folder option. You can create as many hot folders as you want to organize or facilitate automation. Here we will drop the file into the test print folder which has been pre-configured to import the file in this tab inside of the software. In the meantime, we will view this file in high resolution. It is very simple. Just drop the file to the desktop. You can then use the mouse to zoom in, zoom out, or move the file. If you want to crop an area, you would need to select the crop tool on the left hand side, select the desired piece, and choose copy. This piece will then be exported here as a new file ready to be printed. In the meantime, our other import option has imported the files ready to be printed in this new test print tab. If you wish to do advanced printing, you would need to drop the file to the printer and open the layout window. This layout window allows you to choose, scale, and modify the file. You can enter a scaling factor or graphically size the file. Mirror the file for backlit printing. Set it back to a one-to-one -one scale. Maximize it on the sheet. Center it. Or choose your orientation. Files can also easily be repeated along the page by clicking the plus button. If you desire to have some space between files, you can enter that here. Changing the scale will immediately change the scale of all repeated elements as well. You can also easily add crop marks to your file and basic annotations. The Caldera software has the unique ability to zoom inside the preview to ensure that you have selected the appropriate option. The Caldera software also has the ability to support contour cutting. A file containing a contour shape will appear in the image bar with a scissor icon. If you drop one of these files into the printing window and enable the cutting, you will see the cut shape is shown in red. Caldera will then add registration marks and barcodes necessary to track your job. You also have the ability to add an extra cut contour around the copy or around multiple copies if you nest the file with multiple copies. We will then send this job to the printer to see how the cutter will operate afterwards. 
Caldera also offers unique color management tools, which include spot color management and Pantone license libraries. You are able to take a file containing Pantone colors and see the list of embedded colors within the file. By browsing to the Details tab, you are able to see the desired color and the achievable color within the printer's color gamut. You can also locate the colors inside the file. The software will highlight this location to ensure you have the proper colors in the right spots. Using a measurement device, you are able to pick a color and assign it to specific targets. Here we are selecting the orange of this Caldera Flame Boy image. Choose the I1 device, calibrate it, and then pick the color of our business card. Again, Caldera will show you the desired color and the achievable color within the printer's color gamut. Raising the resolution of a printer could also change the accuracy of this color. If you want to print multiple files, you can drop the file to the printer. Instead of clicking Print, you would click Nest. Then select the scale of your file and hit Print. Then we can take another file and change it to four copies, and another file and change it to seven copies. All of these files will be spooled and nested together. As you can see here, we have isolated the files and the nested file. Since cutting was enabled, all the files will be nested together and the software will create a cut shape around all of the files together. If you do not want to have cutting enabled, you just need to remove the cutting from the main application window. For printers supporting white, Caldera offers a full white ink flow by using the white tab. By enabling the separation, Caldera will detect the way the file has been built. In our example here, the file contains a white spot color and you can easily colorize the white areas and hide the underneath image to see all the elements that will be printed in white. This file is another example using a TIFF file with an extra channel, an alpha channel that will also be used as white. You can also use the built-in option to generate white on the inked areas or on the surfaces that do not have ink. Caldera offers also a very unique layout tool, enabling nesting and several more options. To use this tool, you will need to open the Compose window, select your printer, and proper media size. Drop your elements onto the page. By pressing down the control button, you can decide how many items you want to have. For example, five, and then place your files manually. This tool allows you to manually rotate or position files. You can also use a nesting mechanism and specify the space between two elements and hit the nest button. If you need to add new files, you can do so by dragging them in and clicking on nesting. You are able to nest files with all types of elements, for example, files containing cut contours, PDF files, raster files, JPEG files, RGB files, CMYK files, and files with different input profiles. There are no limitations. Once your layout is finished, you can remove the surrounding white areas and then create your new document. This file is now ready to be printed.
You can do that by dropping it to the printer, select print, and scale it to the desired size if needed, and click on print. Once again, the file will be spooled and processed.